Well, good afternoon, and what I've got to do today is to repot this uh, Mazda Valia. Uh, I'll take the camera closer so you can see why. It's uh, coming out of its pot. It's going far too high. I know you shouldn't bury them in, uh, in medium, but you can see how it's uh, coming up too high, and it needs a decent repot. And I'm going to pot it in cocoa husks, coconut husks. I've never done a uh, Mazda Valia in that before, so we'll see what goes on with this one. Well, the first thing to do is to take it out of its pot and have a good look at it. There are some leaves you can see under here with black marks on. I shall cut all the uh, leaves off that aren't. Uh, sort of pure and uh, we'll see what happens. Let's have a look what the roots are like. Oh this is in moss and boy and uh, perlite. It's quite wet too and I think this could probably possibly do with splitting and making into another plant. What I mean. So we'll take all this off, take all the badness off, and it looks like it's going to break there, just move it, no, nope. it, like it looks like I'll have to cut it there, there's uh, a lot of dead roots on them, so uh, I'll trim all the dead roots off and uh, I'll come back to you. Well that was very interesting cleaning this Mazda Valley up because it's come into three different plants. One, two, oops, three. So I thought, well, seeing as I've got three plants, all of the same kind, and I think there's a little vetchii, I think, I'm not quite sure with it, maybe Prince de Gaulle or something like that, I thought we'll have a little experiment, because I love experimenting. So what I'm going to do, I've got three pots for them here, and I'm going to plant one in straightforward bark and growth zones, perlite sorry I'm going to put, uh, plant the other one in coconut husk I broke this up into many pieces so it's uh, pretty small and I'm going to grow the next one in tree fern so that'll be interesting to see how it uh, how which ones develop and which ones don't but uh, let's get on with it and pot, and, uh, pot them up Well, we'll pop the first one up in this uh, bark and uh, perlite. It's good, they've got quite good roots on them. So, we'll uh, have too much in there. Always very careful with the roots. We'll put that to the bottom first and then build it up slowly. If you can see me, what I'm doing. So we'll put this bark and perlite in. See if we can get it in the centre. Standing up straight, so I'll just press it down a bit at the sides, and I think I'll need a little more bark. So uh, I'll 
I'll get some of that. There we are, I've got some more. You just go all the way around and press down at the edges. Just to make sure it's nice and neat and comfortable in the pot. There you are, that'll do for one. And the other one will be in uh, coconut husk. All fully cleaned this, so uh, when I took the TDS of this, it was two or less. So uh, this should create any salt problems with this one. And I'm hoping that these will do very well in this. These are small pieces of bark which have, uh, have uh, coconut husk which have uh, broken off from big pieces. It takes a bit of time to do it, but uh, well worth it, providing you split it along the grain of the wood. And not try and cut across it. I mean, with the coconut husk, it should get plenty of air in it, and uh, it should stay pretty damp. this one. Yep, that one's done. And the third one we're putting in tree fern fibre. Little pieces of it which I've cut off a big uh, a big piece. forward to this little experiment. So we'll pack this one in nice and tight. It won't receive as much air, I don't think, as, uh, as the other ones because this will get a little bit uh, compacted, I think. I'm not quite sure when it gets wet. It might just stay as it is, but we'll see. There we are. So there are the three plants all potted up in a different medium and uh, the only thing to do now is I'll give them a bit of a watering and uh, then I'll leave them till the next week for watering I think. So we'll just see how those do, nice little experiment and it might prove okay, it might prove that uh, there's nothing to choose between the uh, mediums but uh, we'll soon find out. So thanks very much for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.